You should let Don Adams pick your name. I thought we were alive the entire time. <laughs> Every song is a fucking journey. This is the worst tour I've ever done. <laughs> Anthony Crawford says Gene Simmons is crazy. Black Album was one of the greatest fucking records of all time. Dude, that dude is crazy. Rock and roll ain't dead. Metal was banned. What was the reason why white was banned? Politics and religion. Next record's three chord rock. <laughs> We're gonna do an ACDC record. Um, when we do the next record, take, we, we need to interview the producer and just make sure that they're not gonna invade the Capitol. I'm gonna keep my opinions to myself. Thank you so much! This is why I get banned from tours. Nobody does anything to, to get anyone in trouble. Like, no alcohol is consumed on the bus. Just yoga and prayers. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Witherfall Weekly, episode one. And uh, I'm off the wagon. Our guest tonight is Chris Fernie from the Hell Hath No Fernie show. We're going to get into that and all the details behind that a little bit later. Chris, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, it's me, Chris Fernie. How's everybody doing that's watching out there? They're not going to answer you unless they uh, comment on the chat board. Well, what? Right. Um, hey. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna put your uh, your YouTube handle down there for everyone to see, so they can go check out uh, what you're trying to do over there. You just started Sounds your good. show um, not too long ago, so it's 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 a process, right? So tell us what you've been up yeah. to. Uh, same old thing with metal music as long as I can remember. <laughs> So you know as well as I do, I my metal go my metal music goes with me for many 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 years, starting with Black Sabbath and Ozzy when I was a kid. <laughs> Let's see. I think we have Don Adams joining us shortly, and uh, possibly Jake Dreyer. I don't know what shenanigans he's up to over there. At his place. Oh down no! In Who knows what he's doing? He's he, he's probably uh, got another guitar or something. <laughs> well, I know that he's. Uh, we're going to start writing another record uh, soon, so he's probably nice. working on some guitar parts or something. Or uh, one. Well, you know, me and um, me and uh, Chad are uh, both uh, slowly working on a doom black metal project, and we're writing songs and everything. Oh, really? Yeah, it's going to be interesting when it's done. So, plus, Chad is uh, also working on a uh, power metal group on the side, too. Oh, really? Yeah. What's it like? Don't know yet. They haven't initially started that project yet, but the, uh, the black metal project that me and Chad have been working on, it's been a slow and a crazy process. We've gone through a few people kind of some interesting stories but eventually we'll get there and we'll have something but we've got lyrics and everything that are going and writing music and all that he's writing a lot of it i'm doing like you know guitar and i don't know if i'm going to do drums on this somebody else might be doing drums actually the drummer to his other band in humanist they we might have him come in and play drums right so a lot of people don't even know your history. Why don't you fill us in for where you're calling from? Oh, uh, my history? As where in, did, from the beginning, if I go to the beginning, like I said, I was like, my whole music history, I've been in the music since I was a kid, and listening well, to rock and metal. Name, Chris. Huh? Where are you calling from? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think where, where I should start. Um, well, you're in upstate New York, right? Right, right. Our old hometown, yeah. Yeah. Home Where city. We, we, uh, we filmed a uh, music video there, and, and we did the record there. Let's see if yeah. I can. Let me show everyone what we're talking
days, the old stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm sure some of the fans have seen some of our old pictures of our old band, like when we played live over at, uh, what do you call it? Um, three times we played over there, and I can't think of the freaking, excuse my language, the name. <laughs> Are you talking about Albies? Albies, where we, yeah, remember that? We played there three times. You know, I think I heard a rumor that Albies in prison. I heard that too, actually. I'm not sure who said that, but I did hear the same thing. So, yeah, but um, here's an old rumor for you because we really don't know, but somewhere our old demo is flying around somewhere. Which which demo? The first one we did over in uh, Bob's studio. Oh, Bob Aquaviva? Yeah. Yeah, Bob's studio. That that one's floating around somewhere. And somewhere in my VCR tapes, there is the footage that was mixed with one of the demo songs to one of the, I think it was the second show we did at Albies. That exists on VCR tapes somewhere. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you mix that together. I think it was you and uh, Dan that did that, right? I think so. I think yeah, so. I remember and that. If anyone in the audience has any questions, feel free to comment below. Hmm. I've got uh, huh. Sybil Kibble says no audio. That's strange. Oh, that's weird. I wonder. Uh, I mean, the audio was working fine on mine. Anybody else? Oh, he could hear it. You know what? It probably went out when I showed that picture, Sybil. You have any? You have any cut uh, questions for Chris? Jason you know who Chris? that is, Joe? Who? That's Jenny. Remember Jenny? Jenny, she's playing keyboards with me and uh, John. Wait, Kenny, what? Jenny, 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 Jennifer, Jennifer, yeah. She used to play the keyboards uh, with uh, the band, uh, what do you call it, uh, Chaos, we were, we were doing at the time. Hold on. Save that story. I got uh, I got Jake Dreyer. There's Mr. Oh, Dreyer. Oh, Jake's going to love some of What's the, some of the on, stories. That. Actually, I'll have to send them the video. <laughs> Jake Dreyer yes, in the house. Look at this. On Sunday evening. Jake! Um, <laughs> let's see. Here's Chris. Chris was in the middle of this. <laughs> Fucking story about a band called. Let's see, hon. We were called Chaos. It was me and John, me and John and Jen, and um, this uh, other girl named Hilda. Hilda. Yeah, she was like she was this Norwegian kind of metal chick, kinda. I don't know. But anyways, we had two shows that do exist on the internet, where we played in a coffee house. And I took a Beatles replica set and literally destroyed it. Oh my God. Hey, we got some more people from Utica now joining in. Those those tags must nice. be working. <laughs> nice. Oh Look, I did 40 days fucking sober, and I knew I had to drink for this. So cheers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey, <laughs> oh, so what, what were you guys talking about? You're, uh, he's, Chris, you were a drummer, right? Yeah, we were talking about old Midnight Rain stories and a few other bands here and there. Right on. So there's a comment. Hey, I want one of our YouTube regulars to go and click on that link and tell us what that band is like. <laughs> What's that? Sybil the just chaos Sybil. stuff? Yeah, there's a link here. Because there's two videos or three videos that exist. Jenny's got them. Jay Jenny Jay has got them. <laughs> oh, man. I have a feeling the comment section is going to be fucking hilarious today. <laughs> well, if they find the right one, the one that I uh, was talking about with uh, that band, my old band, they're going to see me literally almost destroy a Beatles kit. <laughs> Where'd you get the Beatles kit from? Oh, it was one of the uh, guys in one of the bands that night at the coffee house. Oh, uh, okay. Jake, picture of coffee house with a kind of sort of metal band going. 
Yeah, no, I, I, I've, I've done my fair share of those, and that was uh, well, long, well, Joe, long time. you know what coffee house it was? It was um Robin's old place there off of Genesee Street. Vigo and Bats. Yes. Hilda yep, Lo Virgo Bats. Yeah. That's a weird way to spell Hilda. Is it Hilda or Hildy? Hilda. Hmm. Hilda. And what's with the? Is that a Jewish name? It's a Norwegian German name, something like that. Um, Dean? Shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> oh, no. what, what, what's um, the verdict? It's, <laughs> it's um, I'm going to say Norwegian, actually. Hilda. You know, like Celtic. Norwegian, Norwegian German, for sure. I'm yeah. just guessing. It's going to be like Celtic or yeah. something. Lowenstein is not. Okay. Miz, Mizzy Foley. Mm -hmm. I go. Do I do? Do I go or does Chris go? And yes, we know Kathy. Kathy sells some <laughs> other, uh, vinyls for us. I definitely hmm. say hello to her, her little dog. Um, right. She's probably watching right now. Hilda is Belgian. Whoa. Interesting. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying yeah. to look for those videos, Joe. The the live videos are from uh, from Chaos. What did Hilda play? She sang. Oh, she sang. Okay. What was her What was her vocal? Yeah, she was a singer. Jen was a keyboardist singer. John Searles played uh, guitar, and me, I played drums, of course. Cool. Kiefer, that's and right. I, <laughs> uh, I know. I Kiefer. Chris. You still playing drums? Yeah. Oh, of course. Of course. Oh my god. How's Spring how's your how's your Hell Hath No Fear Fernie show going, man? I love that name. Yeah, it's going. Cool. It's it's fun, you know. It's it's a lot yeah. of fun, you know, talking about talking about records, metal records, other records. I mean, it's multiple music subject. I want to do more than that though. I want to do like, you know, CDs. And I also want to do like um, Art Bell type stuff, you know, ghosts and aliens and the unknown and stuff that's like, you know, just out of the unordinary. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. That's cool. But I want you it to be a mix, like you know, just all sorts of different stuff. Hey, Chris, Jason Clifford wants yeah. to know if you still have the war daggers. The what? The war daggers. Who wants to know this? Jason Clifford. He, I think he lives in Utica. Oh, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, he remembers that. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, that was what a long time ago when I bought them. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, hold on. You guys, hold on. I'll be right back in just one second, all right? Oh hold God. that thought. <laughs> Dick, we're going to have your family on next. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, we have a uh, – I think it's still coming out on Tuesday, right? New single? Yeah, 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 yeah. A single and video. Uh, actually, Don Adams is – I, I just talked to Don. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, he's – I don't know if I can make it because of uh, this video. He's, he's cutting the video. Ugh. Yeah, I just talked to Don, so – you did. You guys, you fans out there, will have something special here on Tuesday, if uh, if we can get it cut. <laughs> Always down to the wire. Jesus Christ! All right. All right. All right what's Chris got here? Now you were uh, asking an interesting question about something. Jake has war daggers too. <laughs> yeah. They were given to me by a person in Utica. Go. That might be a real one. This I got, oh God, quite a while back, 20 years ago, anyway. <laughs> the cover of that, that Burzum record. <laughs> oh, the famous demos. Yeah, yeah. The, the demos on CD where he's holding it. Yeah. He's yeah. holding it like, well, you know, like a. 
I'm trying to think. What else? What else? What else? Yeah, because I don't have my uh, armed spikes. Those are uh, put away for a little while. Did you just say, oh, my God, look at this. What? Here's his new band name. <laughs> what? <laughs> new band name. Furzum. <laughs> Furzum. That's that funny. One, was, it, was it Burzum, I guess? Yeah. I yeah. Uh, well, that was... I think um, more about black metal than... Us. What's his name? Um, that was um, remember my Burzum stuff. Um, Lord Euronymous. No, Euronymous was the other one. Um, no, that was Mayhem. Mayhem. Yeah, Mayhem was Euronymous. Yeah, in in death. Yep. I think or dead. Dead. That was the guy's name. Dead was the singer. Yep. Yeah. And then Varg Viconis is the other one. He used to play bass actually with Mayhem, and then he went to. Uh, and, uh, right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we I know I had this one. Cool. Doorway. With Hilda. Yeah. You, you, Although she's you also black called. metal, Jake. What's that? Uh, you ever get the I these real quick. Shit. Yeah, actually, I mean, like, I know I had this. sometimes I'll listen to some just yeah. some black, but but you know, mm. it's, I mean, a lot of that stuff I'm gonna like get hated on, but the productions. I mean, it's raw for the sake he, of being raw. Chris, uh, right. Now it's going up. Chris used to collect all those like tapes, like those yeah. really. Yeah, I, I I really like. Yeah, that. I still have most of them. Uh, I still have sense. most of them. They're in a stack of uh, milk crates. What? A yeah. uh, big stack of them from the floor to the ceiling. That's not very death metal, Chris. The ones I liked were no. uh, like, I liked the dissection story Wait. lights, band, but that was a little bit more. This is this is incredible death metal right here. Pestilence. Pestilence. Oh, pestilence, yes. Man, this is a really, really great one of my favorites. For a I second, dude, my eyes suck. I thought yeah. that was animal eyes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then yeah. a consuming impulse is one of the uh one of the best albums that you know. <laughs> Hellhammer's a badass but, drummer. Uh, another one, um, Disembowelment. It's kind of Dis hard to see. Disembowelment. Yeah, I'm not familiar it's with that. It's like one. the Black Album. <laughs> yeah, if you like, if you like My Dying Bride, but much darker, this this is where to go. I like My Dying Bride. Hey, Laura Ken, how you doing, man? Yeah. Anyway, if you guys relate to the party, which I, for some reason the the number of viewers keeps increasing. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Chris Fernie from the Yo. podcast Ethno Fernie. He is also uh, <laughs> he he happens to be my cousin and my first drummer and a fucking lunatic, <laughs> um, a legend. <laughs> I'm much calmer than I used to be. Believe me. Yeah, I used to put on quite the show on the drums. I can't do that anymore. I'm I'm starting to get old. <laughs> so Chris, wow. you were listening to like black black metal and death metal before like they oh, yeah. were even like, before CDs. I mean like when nobody well, right. even, there were just records and tapes, records and tapes, exactly. They weren't even records, yeah. they were like fucking seven inches. Yeah, I've I've got an incredible collection of forty fives too of uh, old uh death metal, black metal, thrash metal. Speed metal, old metal, and uh, hardcore. But where would you get those at? Uh, you can get them through record labels and stuff. And it used to be dirt cheap. They used to be like two bucks, three bucks a record. Those same ones that went for two bucks now go for like six or seven bucks nowadays. Oh, okay, Chris, cool. Chris so knew Diggy like, before you know? we were. So, so you would actually just like contact the record labels and be like, "Hey, can we? Can you get?" Oh my god! When I. I've been contacting record labels since the late eighties. Wow. That's, that's pretty cool. Literally man. writing that's for them and calling them up. I mean, this is back like 87 ish. I started doing that. Yeah. But, uh, speaking of 87, that ties into this lovely, uh, classic. I know that record. One of the best King diamond albums out there. That's a fantastic record right there, man. That one, yeah, it is. They had a conspiracy after that, the eye, yeah, yeah, all the new stuff. And right, now we'll get now we'll get into the really, really rare death metal, like uh, 
trying to get it so everybody can see. This is Babylon said. This is kind of like death metal with rush type influencing. Very, very technical. It's like a death metal genesis with uh out Peter what? Gabriel. That sounds it is awesome, it's very actually. technical. A lot Babylon. of time changing and everything. Huh? Oh, you were talking about this earlier. Yeah, this is one of my rarest classic early 90s death metal albums. This is extremely rare. Where are they from? Uh, they're from, um, if I remember correctly, I'm trying to see where it says. I, they're from like Sweden or something like that. or Not Sweden, um, cor correction. Um, somewhere around those countries up in uh, yeah, Northern yeah. Europe. Scandinavian. Yeah. Babylon. I mean, they, they don't. And the funny part, if um, no, this one did, isn't the one that has their picture. If you look at what they look like, they look like glam rockers in in this album. Huh. It's interesting. Well, I need to check that out. That actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah, definitely That's check them out. They're, they're, they're Russian influence, like the proggy stuff. It's proggy type. Yeah, it's very time. There's a lot of time changing and stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, speaking of time changing in black metal and death metal and the band that became black metal, here's the death metal version of um, Dark Throne, my all time favorite Dark Throne. This is, I, I love these guys as much as I love Iron Maiden. <laughs> these guys are huh. awesome. Didn't you used to have a poster of them? Like, with, there's like a figure. Well, yeah, I still do. I've got like posters and everything. I'm I'm a huge fan of these guys. I mean, I'm, I'm a. It's like comparing like to the missus. She's she's a like a huge fan of Mayhem, whereas I'm a big fan of Dark Throne. Hmm. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah. We got a lot and of then the, the Black Metal collection I've got is just intensely crazy as well. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, I couldn't even tell you the numbers of CDs, tapes, records. Just you know, the only thing I don't have a death metal and black metal is. Um, what do you call it? Uh, eight tracks. I would be a millionaire if I actually had an eight track with Cannibal Corpse because that would be rare. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But man. this is, I mean, oh wow. This is uh, one of my favorite Immortal. Uh, yeah, it's Immortal. Yep. Crab Core. Yep. Is that uh, 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 Abbott? Yeah, that's Abbott when he was much younger. This is their third release. Yeah, you had it, solo records, right? Like when it was yeah. on those. Yeah, the I or I, it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's really good. If anybody listens to the first I album, it's really a great, great CD. Or yeah, vinyl, if you can find it. Do you know Flesher? What's Eddie, that? Eddie Head says, "Check out Flesher." I don't know that band. Flesher? No, neither do I. <laughs> Now the really now Joe we'll get into the really 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 rare black metal slash um, ambient. This is my all time favorite dark ambient of all time. This is darkness and shrouds. This is a very good friend of mine's uh, work. His name is Michael Ford. Darkness and Shrouds. Where are they from? Darkness and Shrouds. This is my uh, my friend Michael Ford's uh, band. I mean, he's more of an acquaintance than a friend. I mean, I've known him for ages. Uh, he's from uh, right here in New York, I oh. believe. If I remember correctly, he's from New York. I could be wrong. I don't remember. Yeah, Dude. I kind of did a lot of the, the black metal ambient type stuff, too. Yeah, this is like extremely rare. This CD is no longer available, actually. Hey, and um, I first got this CD. It was like four months or five months after it was released. I found it used over at a uh, store called Listen Up in North Utica. I remember that place. Yeah. Mm. Yep. But Chris yeah, this Furry CD is extremely, black. like I said, it's extremely hard to get. I mean, I've got the cassette to this too. Look at this. We got a. Uh, we have our first troll, Chris. You, oh, here's nice. Your, here's your first troll. This guy, huh. I don't even know how the fuck to say his name. You have okay. zero, which isn't true. Um, and then he says something hilarious. Who the fuck What's is Tatiana? That? And you spelled 
best drawn. Huh. Dream of music is not real. Well, that's fucking it, true. It's, it's not real. Wait, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what's funny. not real? I don't know, but Mizzy Foley wants to know where, uh, what part of Utica you oh. live in. Foley? Oh, God. Don't do the last name thing. <laughs> no, I'm saying, you know, that name sounds familiar, but... <laughs> Mizzy, Mizzy, give us your whole fucking lineage so Chris can discern, like, what family... No, no, from. that's okay. No, that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, Chase Clifford, where's the venom? Uh, oh, venom. Ah. <laughs> uh, I have the first and second albums, LPs. They're somewhere in a wall of LPs. It looks like a library wall of books, but it's LPs. <laughs> this troll says Kurt Cobain is crying for this. Kurt Cobain is not crying. He's decomposing because he's shot. I was going to say, he's probably decomposing now. He probably looks like the Grateful Dead. Oh, Jesus Kurt, Christ. Kurt Cobain had good aim. Yeah. yeah. Much better than his vibrato. That's funny. Sybil Kibble, New York Tales. What the fuck is that, Jason? Ah, oh, here we go. It's vampiric black metal. These guys are called Vlad Tempish. Or Teps. I can't read that shit. Yeah, it's very dark. That's the thing with... A lot of black metal albums, they like to use dark theme stuff, you know, like, uh, well, maybe this one might work. Oh it's a good God. thing I collect this band's stuff. Chris, you need to check out Flesher, apparently. Eddie Head, who's an expert on Flesher. music, he likes football. Oh. So he says Flesher is new in the Midwest. Yeah, yeah I'll, definitely I'll, I'll, I'll definitely check it out. Sure. Yeah, as I say, it's tough to show some of the CDs I have because pretty much. Oh, here we go. Here's a good example of really uh, interesting black metal. This is a uh, a chick black metal band. What year was that? Uh, this is last year. This was released. It's oh, demos. It's a, it's a newer one. Yeah, it's I, demos. I, I, you know, what's that? It's all her, right? Probably, I yeah. Said. It's one yeah. one woman black metal band. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, black they're metal. um the the labels from Germany actually. I this is uh what do you call it? import of of course you know and it's hand numbered copy. Do you look? Let me see if I can zoom into the Jason. Shut up. Hand number. <laughs> I would love to see Ann Wilson front of black metal band. That'd be cool. that'd be amazing. Uh, that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like this guy's joke. He says Kurt Cobain's music is mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. Who is that? Wow. <laughs> uh, hey Chris, we just yeah. got a we just got a, a little feature. Give, give me a second here. Everybody, stand by. Uh, oh, that's too funny. What what was that? Gen X? Who? Yeah, that was Jenny. Jenny. Yeah, that was Je Did you see John playing guitar? That was John. Oh, that was no. Sir. That was uh John, yeah. The funny thing is you guys weren't even doing drugs. That's what makes it all really fucking hilarious. Well, the other thing that makes it hilarious too is the fact that how wild I was back then, you know, like I said, I'm so calm now, it's not even funny. You're <laughs> fucking really calm. <laughs> I'm getting old, dude. <laughs> I got gray hair and doesn't look too gray, but it's getting there. <laughs> Jason says we do a ripping cover of Barracuda, Jake. 
That's too funny. <laughs> I don't know if Chad said anything to uh, to Cliff yet about uh, me and Chad working on the uh, black metal project, black Doom black metal project. Doom black metal. Yeah, it's pretty much we're going to do like a really doomish black metal type thing. How does that like work? I said, we've been working on it. It's been like in the works. It's just, and we've gone through a few people, a few guitarists, but eventually no, it'll get together and we'll we'll be doing something. Describe the music. What 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 is doom black metal? Um, well, if anybody's ever heard of ancient wisdom, uh, they're they're doom black metal. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, damn it. Um, in the woods. That's another one that's like doomish black metal. I mean, these are older bands. These are like first generation or no second generation black metal from the early nineties. Yeah, Chris. Well, what do you, what do you feel about uh, like bands like uh, Watain and stuff like that? Because th those ones, I, I like. There's, there's a lot of melody and stuff with it too, but it re retains the black metal. But I know a lot of people are also kind of like you know maybe they're not um, true tr. V U E or whatever the however the fuck they T R V E black metal. Uh, yeah, true black metal. I've heard some of the stuff. Yeah, uh, Wu Tang would be considered uh, what they call commercial black metal. Commercial, commercial black. Metal. Yeah, they call that commercial, like um, Demi Borger and all them. They call those commercial black metal right. bands like I think, I think Mayhem and, a little bit more on like the traditional side of black metal than, than, than Demio because mm. I think Demio does like the whole symphonic type stuff yeah mm. they're very orchestral yeah yeah and then Watan yeah. I mean, has some pretty cool songs actually but it also you yeah. know there's the production quality is a lot better I know that's maybe why people listen to black metal I want to put it down for that reason but kind of yeah you know, it's like it's uh it's a little more polished yeah, that's the best way to say polish. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like but it's kind of like black metal fans are not a fan. <laughs> you got me thinking now because like the, there's like a I'm over exaggerating the number, but there's millions of black metal bands and death metal bands that go through my head. It's like wow, oh, which one's which? You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a band called Agaloc that I also really like. I think they're out of oh like, no, okay. nice. Yeah, Oregon. Do you know them? I've heard of them. Yeah, I have heard of them. Do you know this band Liebach, Chris? Where have I heard Liebach before? Civil seems to think you would know. Wow, yeah, I've heard of them, but yeah. Let's see, how about how about um how about mutilation from France? Wait, which one? Yeah. It'd be funny if there was just like a stock website where they all get like their semi satanic like black and white imagery. <laughs> well, a lot of bands like to, in black metal like to use the atomic bomb or hydrogen bomb for their covers. Really? Uh, I, that's the first yeah. I've seen of that actually for for the black metal. I mean, I'm not I'm not anywhere near. Really a lot of the old stuff, well, you can't it. tell because it's all yeah. they fuck the image. It's just a big pile of white shit against the black background. Rumpus. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. That's funny. What's in <laughs> and Inhumatus is playing in Utica. I don't know who that is. Inhumanus. That's that's Chad. Oh. That's Chad. Chad's a singer of Inhumanus. Yep. I remember he had a band called Third Angel. And they had yes, a Third Angel, yes. They had a song uh Cones tomorrow about traffic cones yes. going to take over the world, and they had a, they had a they had like a like a type of negative turned into like my dying kind kind of yeah. Cool. Well, the song the song titles were like "Let's Make Love Till We Die" and and ah, it's funny. It was they were the only like band in the area like trying to do like that like that old yeah. style of green metal uh, you know oh, they were we like go, writing there we go Jake. one of the first second generation uh black metal bands from uh, italy evil wow dude that is a w w what year was that that uh early 90s here's what they uh here's what they looked like 
And what label was that on? Uh, originally, I'm going to say originally was on, it might have been on Hammerheart, but now it's on, uh, where is it? Sometimes is that original it's, from the 90s? No, this is a remake. This is a re-release. Oh, okay. But it is from the 90s, you know, from the 90s. Wow. yeah. The nice. 90, yeah, here we go. This one here is from 93. See, it's That's hard to see because it's dark. It, and, and the label is probably like one of those ones where try like, something. You know, a guy in his bedroom type deal. Yeah. There we it's go. Even though wow. there's the light flashing. Well, man. Yeah, I've got know, a like, lot of early fans out black there metal. black metal. You've got, you've got this one covered. Yeah, I've got I've got a lot. Of, yeah, see, this is better. You can see it sort of. I don't want to glare the light. Yeah. This is what your podcast should be, Chris. Just you talking about crazy old black metal shit. Nobody else is doing it. Oh, it's good. Yeah. I'll get there with that. Oh, yeah. That's in the plans to do. Definitely. Jesus, your collection of black metal is insane. Do you have an English? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a lot of, a lot of really, really <laughs> awesome old black metal from like the 80s, and the 90s. Oh, it's Dungeons and Dragons. I thought that was a trilogy yeah. shirt. I was like, that's badass. All right. It's Here's one that's gonna gonna wow you, Jake. Not many people oh. have this. Yeah, I bought this so ages ago. I bought this ages ago from some guy named Jason that we were talking about talking to. <laughs> that's cool, man. Which uh, that's my my buddy Clifford. He's he's the one that uh, got me the CD ages ago. It, wow, right on, Joe. Have you yeah. ever seen this? That's a different what cover, though. For sure, it's I mean, death, the demo. That's the, that's the demo? demo one. Oh, wow. yeah, this is all the demo. Like I said, no I never. Shit, yep. yeah, Jay, Jay got this for me uh, over at uh, the old store. That is a cool one, man. That's really cool. Jason Clifford. Yeah, it's says like all the rare because it's got the original yeah, demos wow. on it. What year did they release that? Was that with when they were with Roadrunner? Eighty. The uh, the these. So the demos from 84, 85, 86. Right. But w w when was that that release, though? Um, trying to look for it now on the end. For, yeah, July. Here it is. Uh, rehearsal, July 84. Cassette tape, original release, 84. And this is when they were wow. called Mantis, by the way. Right, right, right. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. I've Jack seen Wilson, demo, but I've never actually seen it. Jack Wilson says yeah. that demo was recorded in Antioch, California. Yeah, because because Chuck Schultz yeah. went to San Francisco for a while, right? He went to California, I know, mm -hmm. and then he went right, back. Yeah, he went to California, yeah, because he was from Florida or something. And well, he did it. There we go, you guys. There's another one out of my rare collection. If I get the light, not the shine. Yeah. Mayhem and uh, Dark Throne. Uh, Double CD. Oh wow, uh, that's cool. That's rare as hell. Yeah, got Double a really CD. really cool picture oh, wow. of them guys in the back. When yeah. uh yeah, early 1990-91, I should saw uh, Federez and um what do you call it? Uh, the other guys from Mayhem and I'm gonna say what's the name from Satericon wasn't in this, but uh, Euronymous is right there next to Federez. Yeah, you know, else is yeah. Hellhammer on drums. Yeah, show that, Chris. Show that picture again. Yeah, some of the stuff I got to look through. I'm trying to look as fast as I can, but some of the stuff that I own, the you know, the CDs and records that I own, I cannot put on the air because the covers are so gory. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You don't. You don't. I mean, someday really I'll show you some of that stuff, Jake. When you're down here, you know, I'll show you some of the records that I got that are worth. Anywhere from a yeah, hundred to good, like man. hundreds of dollars because they're so rare. Those Chris, those black metal bands, they kind of look like a satanic Guns N' Roses, like in the photos. You know what I mean? Kinda, like, yeah. Like all the like Metallica wannabes when Metallica yeah, all from yeah. Metallica, Metallica wannabes. Late, the, the 80s, so. Metallica yeah. wannabes. That's funny. That's funny. They look pretty yeah. like disgusting. Like they look like right, a, here's loose a group. Here's a very rare, absurd album from Germany. This is the Absurd's demos. Jeez, man, what the fuck is that? 
They're a really, really crazy black metal band. They're insane. Like, and this is only dialogue. one of the projects. They're in other bands too, and their stuff is like it's like really sick, brutal, destructive, insane black metal. Really? Okay. Yeah, these guys are violent as all hell. It looks like it. <laughs> the music's very strange for black metal. It's it's definitely different. It's it's um it's different. I'll I'll say that much. Looks the like the fuck? vintage. Uh, <laughs> trying to get it Wait. All right. Can you see that? This is like a snuff film photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, these guys are nuts. If you understand German, then you'll hear their lyrics clearly. And it's like I said, it's violent. <laughs> what What year was that? What What was this? Early uh, late nineties. Yeah. Uh, about late 90s. I'm going to see if I know. Yeah, very uh, very interesting stuff. <laughs> if you yeah. understand German, you'll be fine. If you don't, well, I don't know. <laughs> well, uh -huh. yeah, I got to run, but uh -huh. enjoy, uh, the talk Black about Metal rare. Mayhem. Oh, yep. wow. No, who is that? That's Euronymous before he died. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. Rosanna's Yeah, back. this one I just obtained not that long ago. <laughs> night, Rosanna. Very cool. All right, guys. Have a good night. All right, Jake. I'm going to play some clips. Oh, going. Cheers, man. It's a uh, hey, 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 hey. black metal uh, history lesson there. That was cool. Mm. I dug it. Cheers, Absolutely. Guys. See you later, everyone. All right, Jake. Hey, man. Hey, Chris, yeah. I'm going to play. I have a, something Don sent me, which is the, the birth of your your uh, your show's name. Here, check it out for a second. You should let Don Adams pick your name. He's an expert. Sure, why not? Let's see. There you go. How about uh, hell, hell Hath No Fernie? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a mic drop right yeah. there. That's it. That's it. You hear that? That's your that's your fucking podcast. All right, Chris. All right. We're hey, up. we're out. Man. We're back to the recording. That was that was the oh, moment. Oh, that's cool. That that's happened. great. That's great. It's pretty fucking funny. Yeah. So, Joe, here's one that I was looking for you to check to see the cover of this one. What's the name of that band? This one is called um, Necro Goat. Necro Goat. <laughs> yeah, check out the cover on this. It's like a it's like a satanic altar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like our last music video. That's, that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to wanted to show you that. And then, of course, we're talking about the uh, seven inch forty fives. This CD is basically a uh, compilation of forty fives. Oh really? So yeah, just, Pest just is really awesome. Happened. If you if anyone likes nuclear war black metal, that's you know old school. It's definitely old school uh, second gen. Eddie Head wants to know your thoughts on Celtic Frost. On what is it, Celtic Frost? Yeah, yeah. Awesome band. Awesome, awesome band. Then Hellhammer too. Hellhammer. That was hey, the original Celtic Frost. I'm going to play another clip, Chris. Give me a second here. Anyway, we have a we have a new song coming out on Tuesday. Hopefully, What's along that? with it. Yeah, uh, song. Where do I begin? That's why Don's not here. Don is actually oh. cutting he, the video right now. Um, oh, nice. Or else, yeah, you know, a few people were asking me when I was going to be like on the video things and stuff. 
Yeah, well, you're here now. <laughs> right. Well, this too, yeah. And, but no, I'm saying like, you know, when, when we went through the, the graveyard and stuff, when Don was uh, filming us driving to, um, through uh, Forest Hill and everything. and That's, I mean, that's up to the whoever's cutting these videos. Ah, um, I got gotcha. you. And then I think Don did the video of uh, when we were in the car, like right at my driveway or something. I think so. I'm sure that. Yeah, yeah. It. Eric was awesome to meet you at Chris's show. Oh, oh, what's up, man? How you doing? That was. Uh, <laughs> I was not drinking that night, so. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Well, look at this. My grandparents were at Forest Hill. I think all our grandparents were at Forest Hill. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, well, our, our grandparents are over at uh, Calvary next door. Oh, are they not the same? Yeah, they're over in Calvary. They're over in the Calvary Cemetery. I see. Yeah. Yep, yep. Anyone have any Maybe. further questions for Chris here? Yeah, uh, are there any questions that I might should be able to answer. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave his link to his YouTube channel. So head on over there and subscribe. Yeah, please. And thank you. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. So we'll give you guys a few minutes to get in your final questions. We have uh, some collector Witherfall beer cans for anyone doing super chats today. Mm. Also, uh, signed Witherfall wine bottles. Too bad there's no alcohol left in there. <laughs> ah, it's funny. All right, Chris, what do you think of Leviathan? Leviathan. Um, if I'm correct in my memory, they're from Ukraine. And they're pretty good. They're they're you know they they're different. There's some crazy stories about that band. If I if I'm correct, like what? Uh, I'd have to do some more research on that to confirm what I have heard through the grapevine about what I rumors. What are the rumors? Uh, the dude is like hated badly. I don't know. He's he's a um. Well, you know, Leviathan, I believe, is one of those, um, the, uh, how do you say that type of black metal name? Um, Nazi. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nazis? They're, um, they're Nazi um, socialist black metal, I think. I, that's what I'm saying by rumors. I could be wrong. But, you know, I mean, there are other bands like that, Joe. There's um, Impaled Nazarene. They're Nazi socialist black metal. What's a Nazi socialist? That's what they call it, to be honest. They call it Nazi, Nazi socialist black metal. NSBM. That's weird. Because I, I think the Nazis were actually, weird. They were fighting the socialists. They went to war with the socialists. In well, actually, uh, in history, you could see the Nazis were part of a different type of socialist ideology. It's kind of weird. I mean, that... You, you remember, I'm like a historian of World War One, World War II, the Cold War. The Cold War, anybody not wants anybody that wants to know some scary stories about nuclear tests, I've got the videos, I've got documents and everything proving the horrors of the nuclear tests. This book? Which one's that one? Oh, that's a good book, actually, about uh, the uh, rise and fall of the uh, darkest times of Germany. <laughs> yeah, yep. I had that book, and then a friend of mine took it. Never gave she never gave it back. Actually, I I read that book when I was in your room when I was like sixteen. Probably, yeah. I bought a copy. If if anyone wants to know, like what happened <laughs> leading up, to I got a really book. crazy story about that book. Well, not that one you've got, but. The one that I had, the uh, the the girl that stole that book from uh, me was uh, is uh, Jewish. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I mean, everybody should read that book, no matter who you are. Yeah, um, I mean, you would think that she wouldn't want to steal it because she's, you know, the you ancestry know. of what happened, the the horrors of the the Holocaust. 
But there's deeper stories than that in history. If people really want to dig history, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie, MK Head. Ultra. <laughs> Eddie Head has a question for you. So uh, he's never dug into death and black metal very deep. What Give him one band, one black and one death metal band that he should check out. Like if you're going to get into it like and, and do a little digging. I'm trying to think. Um, hmm. Cause my, Maybe like I said, my head, had, my head has so many bands in my head. It's crazy. Um, shoot. Um, it's hard to say because there's so many, um, if you want, like, if you like, if you want to see what the Swedish death metal scene is, I would start out with, uh, the first entombed album, left hand path. Left and then hand. American death metal, American death metal. I would start out. I don't know with DSI or something or Morbid Angel. Morbid Angel. And then for black metal, um, definitely for black metal for the second generation, I would start out with uh, Mayhem and Burzum and look at their history and then explore from there. Yeah. I, you know, I would say as, as someone that likes more melodic stuff, I would start out with Morbid Angel. Uh, yeah. Just because the guitar work is really good and the vocals aren't actually have multiple styles going on, at least. Yeah. I know. Hi, Kathy. Kathy owns a music store over there in uh, New Hartford. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hi, Kathy. Let's see here. We have eight minutes left, Chris. Is there anything yeah, else yeah. to talk about on your, your channel? Uh, um. Well, I'm uh, anticipating. I'm anticipating a band uh, release from uh, a band called uh, Satan's Host. They're coming out with a CD after many years. Satan's Host. What are they like? Yep. Yeah. And um, yeah, absolutely. Eddie Head says, "Of course, he's heard of Deicide and uh, and then Young yeah." Angel. Well, I mean, I mean those are like, you know, the standards. Yeah. Yeah. Guy Barnes. The yeah, e trying to think on the top of my head, uh, you know. Who's Ann Tester? Do you know that band? Nope. Never heard of that band. The, your, uh, the person I was asking about the, uh, that, the black metal bands and stuff, too. Um, there's a... Um, there's a uh, band, uh, there's a uh, Swedish, uh, yeah, Swedish death metal, yeah, death metal band. It's an old school death metal, but it's new stuff. And uh, if you want to check them out, um, they're called um, Carnal Savagery. They're mm -hmm. coming out with some new stuff pretty soon, too, actually. And uh, like I said, that, uh, and, and talking about Entombed, I mean, if you like, entombed in their first album you'll 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 probably like carnal savagery are they are they melodic at all or are they really like old school old school uh death metal like like it's like the old uh entombed and um dismembered type stuff it's really really good in my opinion i mean you know they're really really good and I, i'm waiting for their new album to come out as well What's next for your show, Hell Hath No Fernie? Um, hopefully uh, sometime this week. Uh, I'm going to have one lined up. I'm hoping. Um, not sure what I'm going to do yet. I got to look through a bunch of my records again. It's kind of a process because you got, like, you know, you, I've got like thousands and thousands of titles. You know, and LPs, CDs, and tapes. Eventually, I want to do stuff on tapes and CDs. Tapes There'll be CDs. plenty of episodes of those coming up because there's oh, just tons and tons of stuff. That's cool. So, I think maybe you should start having some guests on your show. I want to eventually. Yeah, I've got I've got a few ideas. Definitely yeah. have a few. You should have Bob Aquaviva. Chad definitely is going to be one of them. 
Yeah, Chad should be on there. Left yeah, hand path. Absolutely. Left hand path. Yeah. Next time I'm on the show here with you, I, we should have Chad on with with us. I'll have to have Chad come down. That's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. Head. Definitely. I've heard so entombed. Yeah, entombed is cool. Jack. Yeah, is yeah. There... Like anybody that likes entombed, check out Carnal Savagery. Really, really good stuff. It's a bunch of older guys that got together and they uh, did that band. They've got three or four albums now, and like I said, they're coming out with another one. Hmm. Let's see. Uh... That's like one of the newer bands that I'm into now. That you know, it, it kind of hit big, and so. Let's see here. Uh, Jack Wilson, any touring plan coming up for the band? You know, there's always stuff in the works, but uh, you never know. You never know. I guess we're demanding. True. Uh, Eddie Head, any news on opulent pearl vinyls? Yeah, I mean, they'll be... Uh, hmm. There's a few left. They'll be shipping uh, hopefully hmm. with the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the product. Yeah. Um, hmm. Just want to let you guys know next week uh, we are going to have another special guest, special guest uh, Evan Bradley. He does uh, he does uh, guitar transcriptions, guitar tab. Bands like Dream Theater and Devin Townsend. Uh, you That's can check cool. him out at Evan Bradley Transcriptions. He's the guy that does all of our transcriptions. Um, I'm gonna comment. Mm his information hmm. you'll be on Joe, if anybody's time. wondering if anybody's wondering what i've been drinking this is uh called the liquid death mountain spring water oh jesus <laughs> christ this stuff is great it's it's really good good water it's water in a beer type can <laughs> water in a beer type can see you should be writing the ads for them let's see yeah Jason. right Looking forward to the new Witherfall and Sanctuary. You know, I'm looking forward to the uh, the Sanctuary. <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows? Eddie had that dude. Uh, you know, uh, Evan has has great ears. He's actually a really good guitar player too. Check out his YouTube. I posted the link. Uh, cool guy. We hung out. At, we actually hung out uh, when we released the uh, the beer in Philadelphia. Uh, uh, speaking of old that. beer, oh, geez, here's Christ. a vintage. Yeah, here's a vintage beer can we've had for well, it was my father grandfather's uh, collection of cans. What year is that can from? This is from the 1960s or 70s. It's got the is old top. Is that full? Top. Is no, that no, full? no. Look what uh, Grandpa uh, did. It was kind of smart. Grandpa dude. was smart. He he really knew how to keep you know certain. Vintage cans for his bar at the time. We would have had a mystery <laughs> moment. I would have had people uh, pledge money for you to drink that fucking can. <laughs> oh God, I, I, I it, yeah, I, I don't know if uh, a friend of ours is on listening to us, but he could definitely testify. I can't name any names, but uh -huh. he's probably laughing and smiling about this one. The time where uh, one of his relatives, I'm going to say it like that opened uh -huh. a can that they had from their relative's house that was at least 50 years old. Oh, Jesus. Still <laughs> I'm going to say it was in North Utica. And like I said, it, somebody definitely will know who it is. <laughs> well, I was there, Joe. I literally watched him open the can and take a sip. This is 30 it. years ago, and that can was 50 years old then. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Um, yeah, and, and, the crazy and, parties we used to. Oh God! <laughs> New sanctuary shopping. Eddie, Eddie, please, for the love of God, message Century Media and ask them when the new Century. <laughs> sanctuary. I and let me know what they say. Let's see old pull tabs. Yeah, Bosch, you know, you Joe, I ought to try and find the old catalogs from uh, Relapse. Aren't they still around? We should show those the old the old uh, first catalogs from Relapse Records. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> uh oh, 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Roger. Liquid death is a good way to get pulled over without fun. That's true. That's true. How's the rumpus? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the rumpus is very That's angry good. right now. Where you Why? been, Rod? <laughs> yeah, the rumpus <laughs> is tough. Huh. Let's see here. Funny. Well, listen, it, our hour is up for the for the week, Chris. It's been a great All right. guest. Uh, stay tuned and go over and check out the Hell Hath No Fernie show over at his uh, YouTube. The link yeah, is please in. do, everybody, and thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, Chris, I'll uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Stand by for a second. Sometimes the world no longer needs a hero. Sometimes what it needs is a monster. Sometimes the world no longer needs a hero. Sometimes what it needs is a monster. <laughs>